Hey guys, welcome to the level 2 MCAT skills playlist. We're going to be looking at uh, logs and just general questions. Now, if you just kind of randomly found this video, there's about seven videos before this point. So I would recommend watching through them before you actually get to this. Otherwise, this might just seem a little bit uh, crazy for you. But it's all right, we'll get started. So the first thing to kind of understand in this uh, particular situation is we could actually use two methods, but the first method I'm going to show you guys is particularly using this one here where it's n log a equals log of a n. So that's the one we're going to be using first. Uh, and then the second one, I'm going to show you how you could also use this method uh, to solve it as well. All right. So let's have a look at it. So the first step, take logs for both sides. So it's going to be log three to the power of x equals log six. Uh, then what we do is we bring x to the front because that's one of the rules then we can rewrite this as x log 3 equals log 6 and of course now what we could do is take a log 3 to the other side which gets divided uh, and very easy for people to actually go log 6 divided by log 3 is 2 uh, please don't do that because log 6 divided by log 3 is a completely different number not definitely not 2 it's less than 2 oh, sorry not less than 2 what I should oh, I know what I made a mistake with them. it's not should be less than 2 log 3 now how did I know that it was going to be less than 2 well because if you guys look at this 3 squared is actually 9 so that means x can't actually be 2 x has to be less than 2 that's how I know that I actually made that mistake so in this case x is equal to 1.631 so I'm just going to write that as it is. So that's method one there, guys. The second method is you could actually use uh, this from writing from exponential to log form and then kind of just doing it in a quick step. So what I mean by that is because we have uh, three as our base, our power is actually x and our final answer is six. We can actually rewrite this as log base is 3 answer is 6 uh, and then the power is equal to x and remember I showed this earlier in one of the videos where if you have log 3 6 you can just rewrite this as log 6 divided by log 3 equals to x and well that's basically what we did here we've got log I hate this keyboard log 6 divided by log 3 equals 1.631 and so that's what we're gonna do here so as you can see, either method actually works. So go for gold with whichever method you want to go with. Um, now with the second, third methods, there's a couple of extra steps to do, but pretty much they follow the same kind of uh, principles. So uh, for number two, I am going to be using this method here. So what I could do is um, I could rewrite this as log of 5 to the power of 2x is equal to log of 50 and then what I could do is bring 2x to the front which means I'm gonna have 2x uh, log of 5 equals log of 50 and then 2x is equal to log 50 divided by log 5 so in this case, 2x is equal to log 50 divided by 5. Now again, if you think about it, 5 squared is 25. 5 to the power of 3 is 125. So this answer, I'm probably expecting around 2 point something. So this should be log 50 divided by log 5, which is giving me 2.43. I'll just go with 2.43 there. And then x is equal to, remember, we still got to work out what x is. So we've got that one extra step to do which is 2.43 divided by 2 and so here we can say x is equal to I'm just going to put divided by 2 1.22 was it 1.22 and let's go three decimal places 1.215 there we go so that's number two um, same idea with number three pretty much doing the same method but this time I'm actually going to go and show you guys how to do it using this method here so just kind of go straight away to it so which means if we have a look at it our base is going to be base is 3 p 
power is 15 and no I just messed that up sorry base is 3 power is 2x plus 1 and then the final answer is 15 so I can rewrite this as log of base 3 for 15 equals the power which is 2x plus 1 okay now because I don't want to be dealing with decimal points straight away now you you guys could actually do this if you want you could actually have um, rearrange everything here and then put it in the calculator which means it makes things so much more easier for you that's one method or you can just calculate what log 15 over 3 is and then straight away work from that as well so you can actually go log 15 divided by log 3 which is two point four. yeah see that's an ugly number I don't want to keep writing that now so what I could do is I could actually do it like this I could rewrite this as log 15 over log 3 because that's what uh, that's what happens equals 2x plus 1 um, and then what I could do is I could actually shall we do it yeah let's do it this way I mean why not so we can rewrite this as 2x equals log 15 divided by log 3 and because the positive 1 comes over to this side becomes minus 1 and then we can finally say that x is equal to log 15 divided by log 3 minus 1 and now that whole entire thing is getting divided by 2 so we could actually do this as well if you want to but there's nothing wrong with you because it's the same thing guys because look look if you go to the calculator you got 2.46 and then what have you got? Minus 1 equals that. And then if you divide it by 2, you get x is equal to 0 0.732. Now, if I was to do it the other way, I would open up a double bracket. I got log 15 divided by log 3, close bracket, minus 1, close bracket, and divided by 2. And as you can see, I'm getting answer same answer for both methods. So 732, I'm going to go with 732. All right. So you could have done it that way where I'm talking about in this step right here. God, this stupid keyboard. I'm talking about here. You could have actually just substituted 2.4 and just kind of did that as well. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, question number four. Now, question number four, like I actually wanted to do this uh, with a bit of space here just so that you kind of get the hang of it. And of course, my thing is it going to move any further no it's not going to move any further but what I wanted to show you guys was this remember this thing that we did in level one oh, actually not in level one earlier in uh, powers of powers we did this if you have a b squared all right if we've had a b squared and we want to actually expand it out what we did was um, remember putting this like we put a to the power of one and b to the power of one and then we rewrote this as a to the power of 1 times 2 and b to the power of 1 times 2, which means we got a squared, b squared. All right, I hope you remember that from a, a few videos back. Now, if you remember that, then what we can do, what we're going to do with this 2x, 5x, which is here, the 2x, 5x, stupid keyboard. So the 2x, 5x is almost like a squared, b squared. So we're almost like going backwards now. So so what we could do is a squared, b squared, we can rewrite it as a, b squared. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So when we've got 2 to the power of x and 5 to the power of x, we're going to put a bracket and we're going to go 2 times 5 to the power of x. Because remember that, that when you actually uh, go 2 to the power of 1 times x, so I'm talking about here. So if we go 2 to the power of x is 2x, and then 5 to the power of x is 5x. So all I've done is I've just taken x out into the bracket. And by doing this, now what I've done here is 2 times 5 is 10, and this could be written as 10 to the power of x equals to 50. That's it, all right? That's how you combine those two x's. Otherwise, what you can't do is like, I mean, you can do logs, but the it still won't work because you still need to combine the 5 and 2 somehow. So now we've got this. What we can actually do is um, we can actually say x log, actually no, we're going to take log 10x first. That's one step. Log 10x and then log 50. 
So x comes into the front, we've got x of log 10 equals log 50, and then x is equal to log 50 divided by log 10, which means x is equal to somewhere between, I know it's definitely less than 10, because remember 10 squared is 100. So we've got log 50 divided by log 10 equals one point, well, round it up to 1.70. Now, let's say you actually did take logs of, I'm just going to move this here. Whoa, my two is kind of left over. Let me just fix that. Two was there. Now, let's say we actually did it the other method. The other method I would have done was, say, if you went 2x times 5x equals 50, and you decide to actually take log of both of these things, right? Like, like this equals log of 50. Now remember one of the rules with um, log a plus log b because remember that if you have log a plus log b this is equal to log of a b and because what we have is 2x times 5x is similar to that whole concept of a b we can actually rewrite this as log of 2x plus log of 5x equals log 50. Just bear with me guys. I know this video is taking a bit longer than expected, but trust me, you will see the magic of what happens here and how we're going to end up with the same answer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take x out in the front. So we're going to get x log 2 plus x log 5 equals log 50. Now, what you have is x is a common factor, so we can actually take it out. And when we take out x as a common factor, we're going to get log 2 plus log 5. And if we go back to our rule of log a plus log b, we've actually got to multiply log a b. So that means this here is going to be now x log 2 times 5 is 10, which equals to log 50. And then we can rewrite this as x log 50 divided by log 10. And guess what, guys? We're going to get the same answer, which is 1.70. All right. I do apologize for the long video, but it's just there's a lot of good stuff that's actually that needed to be covered in this particular video here. All right, guys, that's basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to drop a like for this video and share this video. Also, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. There's a lot of, lot of revision material there for you to watch. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.